But he's got one more interview down there, and it's with Lewis Roberts Thompson. Got Lewis Roberts Thompson here now, boys. 2005 grand final, now 2012. How's it feel, Louis? Uh, it's just one of the best feelings ever, Ruzi. I mean, this is just phenomenal to be a part of it. And you've played a significantly different role in 05. Have Dan Hanabry, you warrior. can stay here too, Dan. I'll it's get you warrior. in a minute. I'll get you in the morning. minute. Settle down. Dan's very hyper, boys, as you can see. He's never short of a word, mind you. Ah. And here's the, here's the cup here. Benny. Very different role. Dan, stay here. Come here. Stay. Very different role you played. Obviously, centre-half back in 05. Today, more forward. And then really significant role as a loose defender late in the game. Yeah, look, the way the game was played out, um, it sort of went back and forth, the lead, and, and I think towards the towards the end of the game, um, it just required me to go down and back, play back. Um, you know, Hawthorne got a bit, a bit of a run on, and, and the best thing for the team was uh, to play a defensive role there. Now, Dan, really great game. I mean, I think your game was set up early with it, the mark you took. Was that in the first quarter? Just really tough and hard and courageous. Uh, I can't remember. I, I, I hadn't, uh, hadn't done much, and I just heard the call, we got to go, Hannes, and I went, and... I suppose, as, as Horse says, build your game from pressure, and you know, I was able to do that, and, um, oh, jeez, it feels so good, mate, as you know. It's very good, Dan. Very, this is what you play footy for, son. Definitely, mate. Thanks for everything, T mate. Tough Thanks game, though. Really tough game. It looked really physical from where I was sitting. Hard and tough against the Hawks all day. Oh, it's it it a ruthless game. Um, ferocious pressure from both sides. I think we had a hundred and something tackles, which is unbelievable in a grand final, and... Uh, you know, from um, the day you, you started, that's what we've built our culture from, is that uh, real fierce pressure and nothing changed in footy, and uh, we've been able to do that today, and it won us a grand final. The message from Hawth throughout, Horse throughout the day looked pretty consistent. Didn't change a lot throughout the day, but that's been the greatest strength of the team this year. No, it has been. I mean, we knew if we applied the pressure and stuck to our structures, that would really help us in, in the end. And, and, and look, I think... Um, you know, the way the game was played out, played out, the conditions were a bit of a factor with the breeze, but uh, look, we stuck to our guns, and, and the end result was, uh, you know, you could dedicate it to all the boys' hard work. Tell us about the breeze, Dan. It did look tricky out there. Was it was it tough to? Certainly, goal kicking looked tough, but was it also kick tough? The field kicking. Oh, before the game, I was kicking around with Kieran Jack and a few of the boys, and you know, it was swirly, swirly. It was hard to work out what way it was going. So you said to back yourself in, and, and um, you know, if you're going to do anything, you just hit it hard. If you just put it up there, it just floats. So. Boys just really, uh, you know, as much as they could, just you know, kick through it. So it was, uh, it was a tough win. Well done, Dan. Well done, Lou. I'm just taking the cup. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> there, Rosie, in some really good touch uh, down there, and I think that's.